Hello, and welcome to Streamline Your Service Department and Bolster Your Bottom Line with Sage Service Operations. My name is Vincent Pate, and I'm with Sage. Today we're going to talk about the Sage Service Operations uh, add-on module and how it relates to your Sage 100 contractor as we move through this. Uh, Sage Service Operations is one of our newer products to the Sage family, and uh, we brought it in to kind of address some of the common concerns of service and specialty contractors that we ran into. Um, kind of a story behind the scenes is we, we found that um, when we did some research into the marketplace that many service and specialty contractors uh, fell into kind of a, a certain type of um, whole when it came to data collection in the field. Uh, what we found is many of the dispatchers um, that were working in this field, or actually the dispatchers not in the field, but the dispatchers have their whiteboards um, on their wall, either you know, we're using the dry erase or with stickers or however those are working, and having to manually move those around we're using the service dispatching within Sage 100 Contractor as well, um, but the idea was all of this dispatching was uh, disconnected from the technicians. So many technicians had to come from the, uh, you know, wherever their homes are, drive into the office in the morning, get their list of uh, places they need to go and work, and then drive out and go do that work with um, then being disconnected on that regard to where the only way they can get back to the office is either sending an email or having to make a phone call and work back. We wanted to make sure that some of those concerns were taken care of because at the same time all this is happening, your technicians are out there um, having to fill out everything by paper and by hand. Uh, you know, maybe they have a giant b a binder full of everything they need to do the day, you know, get their safety reports, if they're doing safety reports, device listings, and then of course capturing those work tickets from the customers and getting them filled out. When everything's done by paper and by hand, that means that at some point, either later in the day, driving back to the office at night or back at the end of the week, all that paper would have to come back into the office and then somebody else would have to transcode it back into service receivables so that it's all connected back with your Sage database. This led to a lot of inefficiencies because there's always a gap of at least a day when it comes to paper tickets coming through the system. And that gap of a day means you have uh, lack of insight into the profitability on a you know exact basis. You always have a little bit of gap. And you also have the ability for sales opportunities that may have been written down on a binder or on a sheet of paper to just not make it back. And you know this is a lost quote that we might not be able to do. This has become more and more prevalent as increased competition in the marketplace has made that customers expect higher quality, faster customer service. And if you're not able to have a mobile solution that will take all that data and make it live and allow your technicians to know everything they need to know about a site before they get there, that could put you at a disadvantage. So what we found is that you already have a solid uh, foundation with your Sage uh, 100 contractor in terms of your accounting and a, the service receivables module gives you a very good indication of where your work orders are going, your profitability, but we wanted to have Sage service operations come into play to bridge the gap between your back office and your technicians that are out in the field. And what that does is Sage service operations is that cloud-based software that allows your technicians to access all of the service receivables work orders, um, get dispatched out to, all of the site history. Um, that is in your Sage 100 contractor service receivables, but allow them to do it on their tablet or on a smartphone or on a laptop out in the office where, or out in the field, wherever they might be. It is designed to work on multitude of devices through a web page through a web browser, and that means that it doesn't matter if you're, what you're using. It could be Apple, Android, Windows, what have you, and it will always work for those particular devices. It's completely agnostic on there. And because it is a subscription service, as it says there, you can always, uh, on a month-to-month -month basis, uh, change your user count and make sure you're always at the optimum level of users, depending upon if it's the busy season or if the off season. We wanted to make it as simple and easy to use as possible. So Sage Service Operations is that product that takes your service receivables and makes it live out in the field. And where it's kind of designed around is kind of doing a couple of different pieces. We 
talked earlier about quotes. With service operations, we can actually capture quotes in the field as a technician. It's just a quick button. You press it. You give it the quick rundown of what's um, happening. Hey, the uh, AC unit seems to be making a whole lot of noise. It's in the back office, and I think it might be the fan. And then you click a button. That'll email the service manager back in your office or whomever you want that person to be. And they can then fill out the quote, put in the actual dollars, who's going to come out and do the work, and then send that official quote to the customer. And if they want it, they can turn that right into a work order right away and get that dispatched out. Of course, we can also dispatch out by phone. We can, your, your, any of your dispatch operators gets a phone call, hey, I need to get some work taken care of. We can dispatch it out. Again, right through Sage 100 Contractor, you still have that option. But you also now get expanded options into service operations, allowing them to use a new and improved dispatch board, which we'll show here in just a minute in the demo. We actually also allow for work orders to be created by the technician if you have a trusted technician or two that you would like to have do that. Uh, say, for example, you might have a technician, uh, maybe you guys uh, work in plumbing. I'm kind of throwing out some uh, different um, service uh, specialties I've heard talk about this type of stuff. And if in plumbing, you might get a flood, you know, or a pipe breaks at 9 p.m. and they happen to have the personal phone number of Bob. And, hey, Bob, get out here now. We will pay the emergency rates and come out. Your technician in the past may not have been able to create that work ticket. They'd just come out, do the work, fill it out, and then, you know, the next morning or the next couple of days, they'll, they'll hand over the ticket and your back office, your people in your service department may not know any of that happened unless your technician was diligent in letting them know. We can now have that work ticket be created in Sage 100 Contractor by the technician out in the field, and therefore no lack of insight. Everything then flows in. Once your technicians are out there you know, getting these work tickets dispatched out to them, they can then go out and do their work immediately and it's tied back into the inventory so they can always make sure if they're looking at the work ticket and they see what parts they need, they can look in their truck and make sure they have it. The system connects with the inventory to allow them to know, always know where they're going and if they need to pull inventory from maybe you know, their buddy's truck uh, when they meet for lunch, they can do that as well and the system will actually reduce the other truck and, and work for them. This also allows your technicians to get all their data right from their tablet or smartphone when they leave their house. You could have completely avoid the technician having to drive into the office to get his work tickets and at the end of the day drop them off. That's a whole trip back and forth to the office that could be used to dispatch them out to an extra client in the day, get, making them more productive. So as they travel to the site, they get the work done, the technician completes all the information that they need to, and uh, we'll talk about some of the other service specialties where maybe the technician's completing less and it's more done on the back end. We can accommodate you know, all types of different service specialty companies. But the technician does all the work, they fill out all the different information, um, you know, what parts did they use, um, reduce the truck inventory, buy new parts if you'd like them to be able to create their own purchase orders and then get the approval from the customer. Actually have all that information right there on their tablet. They can pull up an official work ticket on the tablet with a stylus or with their finger. The customer can then sign off on it with the approval and have that emailed out to everyone so that we have that automatically emailing out the office and letting them know, this work ticket was just completed a minute ago. Can you send out the bill and get that taken care of? And that sync with Sage 100 Contractor can do a bunch of things all at once. The technician's time is being sent over into you know, daily payroll, so we can get the daily payroll taken care of. The uh, purchase order that your technician may have purchased to grab some of the parts that he was missing from his truck, automatically in 661 purchase orders. And that allows us to generate the payments faster, get the payroll done quicker, and all that work ties in. So let's actually see it in action. 